Well, hello everybody. Thank you for stopping by. They call me Kate. Um, you already know it's a pleasure and honor being with you here today. Like it is every day, every day that I can wake up in the morning and uh, you know and uh, kind of produce some content for you. It's always a pleasure and it's always an honor. A couple announcements today. Uh, one, I got jury duty. Son of a bitch. Um, so, <laughs> oh god, yeah. So I am summoned to jury duty. Uh, so I don't know how that that's gonna affect my my uploading schedule for this week. It might not. It might so. So if there is a little bit of hiccup between days and 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 episodes, just know that I'm doing my civic duty, baby. Uh, second announcement. Um, if you are interested in joining and continuing with the live stream series on Twitch, I will be running another stream this weekend this weekend being let me see the date here april 24th this weekend april 24th i will be running another stream at 10 a.m pacific standard time once again so if you are interested in that and you're interested in hanging out with us for our live stream uh series you're more than welcome to join you can go ahead and follow the channel i'll leave a little pop-up right here for you there you go and uh, yeah, I hope to see you there. All right, other than that, we are gonna continue with what we have here in our Let's Play series. Uh, looks like our babysitting job is just about done. Let's actually head on over there real quick and see what's happening. Yeah, 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 yeah. <clears throat> so it is, it, it, it's clear. I got the message now for at least our Let's Play, uh, you know, our, our, our YouTube series is don't get a loan. It's just what it is. Just do not get a loan. And you know, I, I'm not even upset about it. I'm actually kind of glad about it because the fact that people want to see this grind get grindy and grindier and grinding, grind, grimy, grindy. I don't know, dude. Like this guy, he owes us five thousand dollars. It's okay because look, we're almost at a hundred grand. There's only one thing I just didn't get a clear answer on. You might be asking, what? Oh, look at that, mamaka, mamaka, mamaka. Ma Macaroni. All right, Ma Macaroni. Um, one thing I did not get a clear answer on is, uh, is should I buy a property in the slums or should I just save up and get a property in the suburbs? And honestly, I think I'm going to just try to get one in the in the suburbs as, as best to my ability without the uh, market, <coughs> excuse me, without the market uh, fluctuating too bad. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to go head on over to the, to the, to the suburbs right now and kind of take a look and see what we can, uh, kind of like what we can get. Hopefully... Hopefully, fingers crossed. Hopefully, uh, we're in the the right direction. Like maybe cheaper ish, not the very cheapish, cheap ish, cheap it. Oh, I mean, we can actually get a treehouse. Look at that. We could potentially get the treehouse. Uh, is that the first house I want to buy in the suburbs? Uh, maybe not. Maybe so. Uh, it might be like our only option at this point. Okay, 176,000. You know, it's quite a bit. It's like very far off still. And that's the only thing we have. Luckily, we don't have money for anything at the moment anyways. So what, you know, what we can do is uh, we can start accepting some of these jobs. And, and to be honest, they do pay higher than the slums. Let's, let's be fair there. Uh, let's do this one. Uh, yeah, so we can start doing some jobs here and there. Oops. Take me to Oral Lake. Giggity. Um, <clears throat> oh, look at, oh, dude, look at this. This is, what is this? This is new. Oh, my God. What? I should have read this, dude. I need to start reading them more. The uh, reason reason why I don't is because it's like I, I feel like they, they are all just like, you know, about the same at this point. But look at this. There's like a laptop. There's a few poster. Is this like a hotel? Is this like Motel Hotel Holiday Inn? Is that like a Snoop Dogg song? I'm at the Motel. Maybe that's a Pitbull song. I, I think Snoop Dogg has his has his fair share in Holiday Inn specials. Um, I'm pretty sure I've heard him uh, reference a Holiday Inn at some point. Maybe it was Chingy. Might have been Chingy. If you don't know who Chingy is, just think of like right there. You ever seen Robots? Never seen Robots? Go watch Robots. It's a great animation with Robin Williams uh, starring Robin Williams, starring uh, Drew Carey, starring uh, Amanda, please. Amanda Bynes. So consider checking that out. All right, enough with me talking, right? <laughs> uh, okay, so a couple bunk beds they want. They don't want, just want one. It seems like they want multiple bunk beds in this. So it does look like a, a place to stay. Maybe maybe not a hotel, because this would be kind of crazy. Maybe it's like a, uh, a I don't want to say like a, a torture camp, but um, it looks like a, like not like a summer, I guess like a, not like a summer camp either. I don't want to say that either, because like, honestly, it's like, like, I don't even know, dude, like, this, this, I mean, summer camp is, is is one thing, but like the size of this place is very tiny. It looks like one of those. You ever seen like on YouTube, like 
I think it might be in Japan or something. I'm pretty sure it's in Japan. But like Japan, they have like these awesome like. Hang on a sec. Did I put too many cabinets? Cabinet. No, oh, okay. I'm I'm good. So in Japan, they have like these awesome places that you can go to, and they're relatively cheap. You know, if you're traveling on a budget. And and they're like the pods, right? Those like pods, like it's like. It's, it's kind of like a hotel, but everyone has like their own like small little pod. I think that is so neat. I don't know why, dude. I just think that is amazingly neat. Amazingly neat? Yes, amazingly neat. I don't know, dude. I think it's really cool. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I just type in like Japanese or Japan pods, sleeping pods. And you can see like you, you, you rent one out for like maybe like $30 a night or something like that. It's really cool. I don't know. What is this? A, fi a file box? I do not, I, I didn't even know there was a file box. I guess we'll put it. I mean, does it make sense? I, I don't know, maybe not for this like area and this this like type of room, but it isn't the most expensive. So, you know, I, 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 I could care less at this point. It's not our place, baby. Uh, issue, where do we put the wall plant? Yes, we put the wall plant there. Yes, look at me, shift click, there you go. Um, and then let's just finish off with some tile, I guess, in one of the rooms. This one will get tile um, with some green. And I, I kind of, like, want to do a mural here. Like, that looks kind of cool. Like, oh, you're here, uh, you're visiting maybe, you know, the outdoors. I don't know, dude. Uh, linoleum in the next room, maybe, again, we do, well, actually, it depends. Okay, they want gray. So maybe we do, like, a black and then, like, kind of like a themed thing going on, right? Like, oh, look at that. I know that's a lot of shapes. You know what? I like that better. Look at that. Now you feel like you're in a, a torture cell. <laughs> uh, wall decor. Yeah, we can add a couple wall decors. Very, very much so. There's a lot of money, you know, left over, admittedly. I think here, just, up, you know, a nice little dream catcher. Yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? Uh, why not? Actually, why not? Why, why, why? That, could I put it there and not there? Oh, because it's up against the wall. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, well. All right, let's just put the dream catcher there. That's fine. All right, I think we're good. And let's go ahead and turn in this job and get some moolah. I mean, this is relatively, uh, I mean, $6,000. It's kind of a lot. I, I say it's kind of a lot. Ah, all right. <clears throat> what do we got here? Hello there. Uh, oh, man. Just send the pro in. Don't worry about it, Corey. Corey Carlson. All right. Let's back it up a bit. Oh, it was a TV. The TVs are so expensive to like repair and send a pro in. Great. All right, now that we have that done, ninety-eight thousand dollars. Let's go ahead and pick up another job. There's a good chance, um, depending on how the market fluctuates, there's a good chance that uh, we might be buying a property today. And I, I'm, I'm very, very, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm very, very anxious to buy one. I'm ready. I'm like, I'm Jones and dude. I'm, I'm ready for it. Like, give me a property. Um, just, just send it, basically, I'm at, is where I'm at. Now, I think I've done this one before. I have done this one before. This is like a, yeah, this is the bathroom. This is like the bougie bathroom. They want like the bathtub and the shower cabin. Done this plenty of times. That's all right. I'm waiting for the day till we level up. And, you know, we're, we are almost about to level up soon. Maybe, maybe this, maybe. Maybe this episode, maybe not. Um, but when we do level up, I, you know, I, I'm jonesing for, for the... Uh, I'm jonesing for the, what is it? The red, the red shower, dude. I, I I'm all about it. I, that's one thing that I'm like really looking forward to. Is that bad? That might be bad. Like out of everything, you're looking forward to the red shower. I mean, you know, my options are limited. That's that's kind of where we're at. <laughs> we're kind of like, we're pushing, baby. I'm I'm, I'm telling you, we're we're pushing, and we're you know push it. I didn't believe, you know, salt and pepper. I think I've referenced that before already, but you know, a good time to push it is to is a good time to name a reference from here and there. And you can name a lot of references with push it. I mean, you can you could do a lot with pushing it if you know what I'm talking about. But uh, let's just disregard that. So let's do like uh, yeah, like a nice yeah, like a nice tucked in green. I think before we did like a nice tucked in gray. Um, so we're just mixing it up slightly. Drying rack, of course, the colorful one. You'll love it. Um, and then, yeah, stone. Finish it off with marble, because I like the marble. And then, like, a nice gray. There we go. Fantastic. And they would they want a wall decor. That's okay. We can pop it with the wall decor. Here we go. 
Put a calendar in the bathroom? Why not? I, I, no, yeah, you know what? Let's just put the most expensive item in there first. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I, I almost put a calendar in the bathroom. Now, what kind of person am I to put a calendar in the bathroom? Uh, probably the, the person that would actually do that. So, if you're judging, you're hurting me, man. You're hurting me. <laughs> All right, let's fast forward this. this. This shouldn't be too bad. We're going to be breaking uh, 100 grand here. Going to be breaking the 100 grand. And then, you know, I'll, I'll take a look around at the other properties. Thanks for having the problem. Yeah, no problem. Um, I'll take a look at all the different properties and see if, you know, the, maybe the market has fluctuated. Like this right here. Like, I don't know if this house was already. This house, I don't think, was on it. So, I believe the market has fluctuated now. Um, you know, it, it could be because of how much money we're earning. It could be because it's just completely random. But this is now 167, which is a lot cheaper than, uh, you know, 170, wherever the hell we had earlier. $477,000 is good. All right. Fantastic. We got all this done. We are, we are, you know what? I'm going to say it. We are going to level up this, uh, this episode. And when we do level up, I'm fingers crossed, baby. Fingers crossed for the, uh, <laughs> for the, um, for the red shower, basically. All right. I know. Again, we could buy, we could actually buy, um, that. But we're not going to. $135,000 has just kicked in, if you didn't see that. Uh, because it is the first of the month now. So, you know, we got a real big boost in our in our budget or in our money scheme here. Which only makes us a very, 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 very close uh, to, to actually purchasing Oral Lake. So, let's, um, let's jump on some more jobs here. We do not have... Um, we do not have... Oh, God. We do not have a babysitting job. Looks like one of your leases are coming up um, at the end with Maximum McNeil, 988. You know, I hope this is the guy. Maximum, you know what? I think <sighs> this is tough. He's almost at that $10,000 mark. And I, I think I'm going to handle that myself. I'm not going to let him screw that up for me. Um, so let's just hold on for a sec. Everyone just, just chill out. Brief minute. How long is this one going to take? This one's going to take a while. There's no, uh, I don't believe, yeah, there's no, like, like, days I need to do that job, if that made sense. Like, there's not a time limit or anything. I can just do it whenever I want. Dude, why do I have jury duty tomorrow? <laughs> why did I get chosen? This is, like, my fourth time. Okay, look, I've been called for, like, I get the jury duty notice. It feels like every six months. You know, I've been I've been given the notice for jury duty in, in my we're talking my adult life here probably like six or seven times, right? I've only been called like maybe two or three times, so this might be my third or fourth time, which is just too much, man. I'm not even I'm not even in my thirties yet. And you're already you're already bending me over there. All right, so this is the Alexander Bain property. Um, so we can negotiate the lease now. Before, excuse me. They were paying 98 80 98 right? The relationship and the happiness isn't there yet. I think I want to try to do a 30-day. Let's see, make an offer here. Give me something, at least. Oh, I got to press play. Don't go lower than 9,800. That's lower than 9,800. That's more than 9,800. How about just a little bit less? Like, if we can hit that $10,000 mark, baby. Dude, we have it. $10,150. I think we are about to complete this and get $5,000. Oh, my God. We have done it. <laughs> oh, my God. We got the bump. Holy moly. Ah. <sighs> Did you think it could happen? I think that was some uh, MLG play right there. I, I think me taking over the agent's job actually was a good call on, on my part. Now, I'll be honest with you. I, I, I've taken a glance. I'm, I'm not even looking on that side of the screen yet because I already screamed BS at the moment. But I'm looking at this and it says, see to, see to all of your tenants' needs and make them happy throughout the full length lease duration. Reach tenant happiness at the end of the lease with a happy 80 score. What the hell? This actually scares the crap out of me. Uh, best landlord ever. Now, if we take a little bit of an overview about all of our tenants here, right? Job related. Okay, yeah, that's job related. 
Uh, Isabel, can we click on these people? At, at, at any moment. Well, I guess we can go to their, their place, right? Let's go ahead and check out Isabel. We gotta check in. Oh, dude, she's doing exercises. We can check in in honor of all of our all of our tenants here. So let's actually dive a little bit deeper in here. So actually, she <clears throat> excuse me, action she's doing is yoga. Obviously, you can see it. Her relationship with us is is, is I, I would say it's pretty good. Her happiness, however, is is not even at the fifty mark. Um, and that kind of scares me, right? Now the thing about her, uh, like these perks here that we haven't really at all this entire let's play. We have not like looked into more of this, which could be bad. Um, so there's a lot of things here that I'm seeing that could be done uh, more productive that on my end. Um, if I was allowed to go in here and begin the renovation, I, I, I definitely would. I, there's some things I would add for her, custom to her. It says like creativity. So what if I were to add like an easel, right? Um, her happiness might be up. She seems to be sociable. So I, I would say like she probably would do better with another tenant obviously that's not the not the option here uh extravaganza uh right extravagance uh maybe she's bad and bougie maybe she likes expensive things and diligence i, I couldn't tell you what diligence is but maybe that's something to look into when it comes to uh you know different people and different properties and all those little perks so here we have uh, our, our gentleman at you know the trailer <laughs> um and and he, he looks like he's doing yoga too. Is he doing yoga? He is doing yoga. Uh, he he looks like he's he's about the same as as the other as the other person. The happiness isn't there. We're at sixty two percent, not at eighty. Uh, but our relationship with him is, is it's fairly good. It's fairly good. Uh, it needs you know this scares the crap out of me because you know I'm not really I'm not I'm not picking up what you're what you're putting down here uh, because we do have like the best refrigerator in in the game that or at least in our and our ability to give to him yeah maybe we could add a microwave and stuff like that but you know again he has the same stuff he, he's creativity uh diligence sociable maybe he would be better in a social aspect multiple tenants maybe an easel would make him happier so another thing to uh, you know think about uh, let's head on over to the fairy street fairy street is bill galaxy gaming so with bill galaxy gaming it looks like they're the same as well the perks are the same across the board here she's taking a shower um and our relationship is is good with her her happiness is even like our least happiness, which again, it, this it, this needs to be reworked or something. I don't know and I don't understand. All right, let's head on over to the Sycamore Circle. So at the Sycamore Circle, you have the Rachel Saint Michelle. At the Rachel Saint Michelle, you got a couple people, right? You got uh, you got Billy Mullen, whose happiness is again forty nine average, forty eight average, and I feel like we've been like doing good. So yes. Now thinking about it, I believe there's a way to make them happy. What would be one way, right? What would be one way in real life? What would be one way to make somebody happy? Lowering, the, lowering their rent, hands down. Uh, I, 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 I truly believe that lowering the rent would be uh, probably a good thing. Um, it seems like so far everybody has the same perks, which I think that is what it is. So what I'm thinking is, is I'm reading this perk wrong. Um, everybody has the perk. However, look it, there's like a, there's a, there's a meter, right? There's like a circle, like the yellow is not filled in some of them. Maybe that's what I'm reading wrong. So before you roast me in the comments, just wait five seconds, wait for the forehead, forehead to stop talking. And then, uh, you understand that I caught myself slipping slightly. Let's head on over to the Prospect Street. Prospect Street is the Alexander Bain, which is the new person that we just signed, right? This is the new person we signed. We we gouged him in money so that we can get a ten thousand uh, dollar lease agreement. Our relationship with him is great. Uh, his happiness is is over fifty. It's not the best, um, but it looks like he's he's a creative person. Again, an easel would be probably ideal here. All right, so let's head on over to the next property, which would be. Do we? Oh, there's two sycamore circles. I was gonna say, did we skip the sycamore circle? No, we have two sycamore circles. So here we are at the Jacob's Funky Flat. Um, with the Jacob's Funky Funky Flat, this man is puking his guts out. Uh, relationships decent. Happiness is, is very low. Not very low, but actually one of the highest that we have. His creativity is outstanding, and his social aspect is outstanding as well. His diligence, however, is almost nil. Um, the other person here is, uh, you know, it's a, it's same, same, uh, happiness is, is, is a little bit lower, but for the most part, the same. So I think what we're going to have to do, okay, so this is great. Look at this. You can actually take a look at everything here. So I think what we're going to have to do 
is we're gonna have to pick, right? We're gonna have to pick a um, a tenant to kind of favor, right? Which is bad to say, but <laughs> so here's Theo. Let's go to Theo. This is our like most recent um, recent apartment that or property that we have. As you can see, it's like the, one of the best ones that we've we've made. Um, again. Across the board, not so much. There's not a lot of relationship built here because, you know, we haven't uh, really known him for a long time. Moved in five weeks ago. Current happiness with the living is neutral. Yeah, so I think there's going to have to be a time. And it might, it might be, it might be with actually Maximum here. Maximum McNeil, the guy who we just signed for 10, 000, over $10,000. This guy might be our our prime, our, our prime target. I don't want to say suspect, but prime target here. The gamer slash waiter. Why would he uh, he be our prime target? Because he, he did give us a favor on signing the $10,000 lease. We have a great relationship with him. And his happiness, it, it's not the best happiness that we have. Uh, but it's not the worst either. Um, so we could definitely work with this guy a little bit. And when his and plus he's on a 30 day lease. So once his 30 day lease is up in the next month, I'll come back to him and then uh, I'll kind of favor him and, and we'll kind of test that theory out. We'll see if it's actually a, a, a case, right? We'll, we'll, we'll see if um, what is that? Uh, murders the case they had me or there's another song in there. I, I you can dig that one out. Murder is the case. Anyways. Um, yeah, so there's a. Uh, I got cases, murder, jury, duty, good God. Uh, <clears throat> so there's a lot to be said there, at least. Um, we could try out lowering people's rent. I, I feel like that's a, that's a that's a thing. It's a common sense thing, right? Like, yeah, yeah. If you lower their rent, they're gonna be happy. If I lower their rent and like practically almost make them live there for free, taking the hit obviously in my balance sheet for that time being. It's gonna hurt a little bit, uh, but uh, you know if they if their happiness doesn't go up, I will be upset, very upset, um, because that's not the case. If my rent here, if my rent uh, got lowered, uh, dude, I'd be happy. Uh, is it happening? No, no, no. The landlords are like, no, we we increase your rent every year. Welcome to California, baby. Um, so you know it is what it is. Go ahead and uh, clean up all this. Get the plastering done. 20 grand here? I, I think this is like the library one. This might be a library uh, one, right? Pretty sure. Yeah, so we have a lot to lot to focus on. This pigeon shower cabin is actually pretty bad. Uh, so $500 for that is... It, 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 I, I'd rather sell it than have it. Oh, let's actually check to see if we have a babysitting job here real quick. And we do. Okay, great. We have a babysitting job. Just one? Looks like just one. Let's exit that. Let's get that going. There we go. All right. Uh, you know, everything happened. We got the $10,000, right? Which was great. Um, we did not get the red shower, which was terrible. <laughs> yeah, because this is the library. All right, waiting room, garden. Okay, so this, this is this, this is a long one. I do have to say, but I'm going to bust it out. And this is going to be, you know, again, almost samey, samey for the most part, right? Uh, let's do what, what do they want in the waiting room? They want linoleum. Send them with the orange linoleum. Actually, send them with that because they want blue walls to go with this. Send them with that. They love it. All right, great. They want a desk. We can give them a desk. They want a desk. They got a desk. Here's your desk. Boom. You want another desk? You can have another desk. You'll have it over here, though, because I said so. Put it up against the wall. Uh, a chair. Yeah, you guys want a chair? We'll give you the weirdest, fanciest chair of all time. How about that? I think I run out of money sometimes on this, on this, uh, <laughs> on this, uh, on this job here i might i think like the garden like really like screws it all up because i don't think there's like a lot of money in the garden section for us a desk lamp yeah you want a desk lamp here's your luxo have a luxo there you go is it luxo i think luxo is the name of the lamp right pixar baby i don't know a couch we'll give you a nice couch as well we'll put the couch over here so it doesn't you know feel weird on this side all right great the waiting room is done um Let's actually work on the, uh, yeah, let's work on the, the, uh, actual library itself. So carpet, what do you want for carpet? You want bright yellow carpet. Why? Because it goes terrible with green. <laughs> this is going to be the weirdest, weirdest, whoa, hey, going to be the weirdest, um, <laughs> library of all time. So how many do we need? Just four, right? Yeah, just four. Going through this fairly quick. And then wall shelves. Yeah, you, you you know, you want a wall shelf. Sure. Have a wall shelf. 
send it, please. Thank you. Uh, books, yep. I already knew that you wanted books. I mean, this is a uh, this is a library after all. We'll just put a bunch of the same books everywhere until they tell us to stop. Okay, they told us to stop. Now let's work on the outside here. Garden decoration. Um, am I worried about the garden decoration? I, mean, I look. I'm not putting a statue. It's just too much money. Um, we'll put like the fountain, the birdie fountain, right? Put double bird fountains on each side. Put a big plant because you know they love the big plants. Uh, you know they're not getting the biggest plant that you know they can because we just add a money. Spruce, spruce, Bruce, Bruce with it. Um, Bruce, Bruce with it. Da -na 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 -na, Bruce, Bruce with it. Yeah. Something like that, right? There's another song to be had there as well. Uh, a bench, maybe the most expensive bench. Maybe. Yeah, I think we might have enough money for all four of them. And then a chair, right? Yeah, we do. Great. And then a lamp. They want a lamp? Are you kidding me? Uh, outdoor, you know, I'm going to do the rocking chair. I think they actually technically think this is the ugliest thing of all time. But I'm not doing this outside. No, 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 no. That's too far. Alright, let's go ahead and grab a lamp. One thing I wish you could do is, like, click on the preferred there. You can't click on the preferred there. I don't know why you can't click on the preferred there. You should be able to click on the preferred there, but you just can't click on the preferred there. Alright, so here we go. Fashion lamp. They might like this. Let's just put this right here. There we go. And let's just send the job off. Because we're here for the money, baby. We're not here for anything else. Again, reputation. It's not... Hang on. Let me take a drink real quick. Reputation. It's not like... Uh, it's not a... Again, we, we talked about this last episode. It's not a make or break situation. Reputation has like almost zero to no, no consequences at the moment. Will they change that in the future? Yeah, probably. Uh, should they change it in the future? Yeah, probably. Um, but it's just not there yet. We're just not at that level yet. People, you know, sometimes people do forget that we are still in the early access stages, which means that the life of this game uh, potentially could be big and it could be very long um, and people just need to understand that and you know just kind of be patient with it as we go through here listen up listen I got it wait what there you go listen up listen I got a situation here situation collaboration that's probably not how it goes satisfaction definitely not how it goes all right single story very easy. Um, $8,000 job here. And we do have the babysitting going, right? Yeah, we do have the babysitting. We're at $150,000. We are so close, man. I think it was like 160 ish 170 ish where we can actually buy a property. And yeah, we'll probably be there. You know, we'll probably be at the point where, yeah, we can buy a property. Uh, however, um, it might not be able to decorate the property once we get that money. But, you know, in good time, we will. In good time, we will. Hopefully it comes furnished. I don't know if it will come furnished. Maybe it might. If it comes furnished, then, you know, that's, that's okay. For the most part, at least, to get it going up and running first, and then I'll come back in and, and dip dip down on it. Dippin' Dots? Oh, my God. You ever eat Dippin' Dots? Dude, if you never had Dippin' Dots, what is wrong with you? If you have had Dippin' Dots, Dippin' Dots is a special creation. There's, like, certain Dippin' Dots that you have to get, right? Not all Dippin' Dots hit. Some hit different, right? But like the strawberry banana, dude, that shit hits different in a summer day. There we go. I remember when Dippin' Dots first came out. Like they were like, they were like so popular, and people were like, "What is this? What are these balls in my mouth?" Do not. I regret what I just said. Take that out of context. Anyways, um, yeah. I remember when they first came out, people were like, what in the world is this? And then people tried it, and it was like, oh, dude, this is actually kind of cool. Frozen little ice cream balls. Um, and then, uh, you know, and then they started, like, getting widely popular, right? They got widely popular. People started liking them. Um, and then, like, and then all of a sudden, they started, what is it? They started to, um, that's terrible. They started to, to have, like, vending machines of them, right? Oh, my God vending machines how how incredible how incredible was that go up to a vending machine and just order yourself a dip and dot it was life-changing at the time now it's like you can get anything in a vending machine nowadays you can get marijuana in a vending machine if you live in colorado <laughs> you can get if you go to the airport you can get any like almost any apple products best buy you know, the popular electronic chain, they have their own vending machine. Have you ever seen a Best Buy vending machine? 
You probably you might have said no, said no. The only time I've seen a Best Buy vending machine was in a airport. Again, um, you go to the airports, man. They got some spicy vending machines. I'm not saying you're gonna find a you know a weed dispenser vending machine at the airport. Uh, that 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 alone is something else that Colorado has going on. They're 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 on a whole nother level. There we go. Actually, I take that back. They're probably not on a whole nother level compared to like Amsterdam. <laughs> so I take back what I just said. Um, what should we do? Just a regular cabinet, right? Yeah, nice little cabinets on each side. We've done this one laundry uh, laundry mat. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, some books, life advice books. I think we all need a little bit of a life advice. Right? I sure do. I sure as hell do. Uh, oh, checkered pattern. Look at that. I like that. That actually looks really good. Uh, the green, I hate I hate matching it with the green, but you know, it is what it is. We'll just do that, I guess. Uh, t they want a TV in here? Yo. A TV and a poster? Is that what it is? A TV and a poster. Right, well, let's put a poster down first. Put this poster down. And then I guess let's do a TV. Well, that's not going to do much of anything. We don't have enough money for that. Um, which, you know, I'll, I'll... I only need like $200 for it. Give me something $200. Like something cheap. Oh my god. What a waste. What a freaking waste, forehead. I, my calculations were wrong at that point. And then like, bam, TV above the washing machine. How, how dope is that, right? I'd go to this laundromat. Alright, there we go. Let's just send it off. Great. Alright. So how's that gonna put us in our in our money money situation money game money game money game? Uh, 150. So let's look around here. This is 174,000. I think the properties have fluctuated once again, which could be bad, could be good, or could be bad. Um, let, let me just take a look. Actually, one of your tenants, uh, something going on, or off to pro in. There you go. Uh, relationships good. What about here? 295,000. Yeah, it looks like the properties did fluctuate once again. Um, so now the most uh, most expensive property is going to be the $174,000 property. Or, sorry, the most affordable property is going to be the $175,000. Unless you're counting the treehouse, which right now I'm not counting the treehouse. <laughs> I do want to own the treehouse at, at some given time. But uh, I don't think that that's the first place I want in the, um, in the suburbs. This is going to be probably the one we get. Or one very similar to this anyways. I think Oral Lake is going to be regardless the one we get. This is next to a supermarket and a bus stop. Is it in the primary market? No, it's not in the primary market. Are these houses in the primary market? Nope, that's not in the primary market. Is that in the primary market? Nope, that's not in the primary market either. I should probably slow down time just a tidbit here. Okay, looks like we have... Okay, so here... Wait a sec. Hang on a sec. I'll handle it myself. All right, so... Tamara O'Reilly. Can I pause real quick? Tamara O'Reilly. Let me see. Tamara O'Wyatt. Oh, okay. So, okay. I, I, I did say I was going to do maximum, but I didn't realize that her, her, her lease was coming up. So this might be our, our guinea pig right here. Since maximum have 57 happiness, she actually has more happiness and our relationship is really good with her. So I will handle it myself. And this is the experiment I was talking about. We're about to dive into this experiment. We're going to offer this lady very low rent and let's see if it improves her happiness um i'm hoping that it does if it doesn't i'll make sure to sign her for 30 days so that it's not a complete waste of money uh or hits our balance sheet hard in a way i think happiness is going to be a very tough thing to figure out um but you know i, I think i think it's uh I, I think we'll do okay i think we'll figure it out eventually um reach the happiness at the end of the lease 80 happiness 120 days so does this mean we actually have to do 120 days I wonder I might have to do 120 days um, and if that's the case uh, I, I, I will play it safe and I will do the 120 days let me adjust myself in my seat so I can get prepared to give her this uh, you know give her this uh, so she is one of them so what if we offered like a thousand dollars surely we can agree on a fairer price are you freaking kidding me she's offering me lower What an insult. Almost there. Not quite yet. 
Alright, 120 days. We'll accept it. Yes, it's gonna dip into our, our, our finances. Absolutely. How's our happiness? Okay, so in a way, it seems like our happiness went down. <laughs> uh, I hate it. I'll be honest, I hate it. How is their toilet game in here? I don't think they have the best toilet in there. All right, so that might have been a mistake. Let's check our money now. Yeah, so we, we, we lost a little bit of money. I mean, not a lot. I mean, we're still making $46,000, which is still pretty damn good. Uh, let's head back over to the slums now that we have $164,000. I don't know. What do you what, what what do you guys think I should do with my with the happiness? How do how do, how do you guys think I should handle trying to get the uh, <clears throat> 120 days with the 80% happiness? We've had a happiness very high. Uh, well, with a smiley face at one point. Um, but I believe our agent screwed it up at one point. So okay, so now it, the price fluctuated. It's not at 167,000 anymore. It's like 170,000. I'm telling you, dude, this game is, like, freaking trolling me. Babysitting job. Um, and give me a $6,000 job here. Yes, yes, yes. So, in, in turn, after completing this, this should... Should give us enough money to buy a house, finally. Or a property here. Should. That's the key word, is should. I like this house. Like, a little bit of pool in the backyard and everything. That's kind of cool. I like it. Uh, twenty four hundred thousand twenty four hundred dollars not twenty four hundred thousand dresser a DVD player on the dresser can we do that oh baby look at that clip action you never seen clip action like that now have you I'll probably place it elsewhere there we go a uh, shelf yeah we can do a shelf a uh, big plant you want a big plant I'll give you a big plant aloe vera put the aloe vera right there um, do, do, do linoleum. We'll match the blue with the bed, and then we'll do some little bit of deep green action under the sea. Under the sea, darling, it's better down where it's wetter. Leave it to me, I think. Oh my god, can you imagine? Like, listen to that. Listen to how I. What are the lyrics there, man? Darling, it is better down where it's wetter. <laughs> I mean. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna argue it, but I mean, I mean, be careful there, Disney. But you know, the lyrics. These children, they're gonna grow up and they're gonna realize what you've been producing. Eventually, they're gonna, you know, they they might low key be kind of happy or, you know, laughing like I am now, years later. All right, here we are. Um, deliver the job. We'll send it. Very quick and easy job there. Very quick and easy. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm pushing for it this episode. I'm pushing. I'm pushing for that property. We're getting that property. I, I hate you. Don't hate me. All right. Here we go. Walk out. Love it. Give me a four-star rating. She gave me a four-star rating. Great. Um, so $170,000. Check the market now. Check the market. You know, it'd actually be kind of cool if they added like a for sale market tab where you could just look at a tab, right? And be like, oh, instead of like scoundering around. Again, treehouse available, 484, 516. Oh, baby, $170,000. Oh my God. Do I go for it or do I make one more job and risk losing it? You know what? I think I do one more job. Just because I don't know, like, if I buy this, I'm only going to have, like, $800 left over. And I don't know how that works with the other, like, place. You know, I don't know how it works with, um, how's that? Yeah. How it works with the, the other, like, the slums as far as, like, my bills that need to be paid. You know, I don't want to get in trouble there. So, I, it, in a safe net here, safety net, I'm just going to just, I'm going to send it real quick into a bathroom again. This is, we've, we've done this one already today. But uh, we're going to do that again. And this shall give us our new property. Which I'll have to pull out my handy dandy notebook. And see who is next on the list to be named. Oh baby. What property? Put it there. Laundry basket. Toilet brush. 
Wait, no, put the toilet in first. <clears throat> there we go. Come on, let's do this fast. I don't want to lose that house. I really don't want to lose that house. Ah! Don't lose the house. Don't lose the house, baby. Don't lose the house. Don't lose the house, baby. I believe it's don't rock the boat. Don't rock the boat, baby. Do I know who sings that? <laughs> no. No, I, do. I don't. I, I'm, not, I'm not familiar with that. Don't rock the boat. Don't rock the boat, baby. Don't rock the boat. Don't rock the boat, baby. There we go. Great. Send it, right? Oh, wait. They need a dresser in here. All right, wait a sec. They want a dresser. Give them a dresser. Is it bedroom? Bedroom? Yeah. White, white dresser. That's another item I want to unlock is the white dresser. There we go. All right. Send it, and we shall be purchasing our next property. Oh, baby. I cannot wait. I am excited for it. You know what? In preparation, I'm going to grab my notebook. A handy dandy notebook. All right. I got my notebook just in time for them to say I did a good job. Thank you. Thank you. Let's pause time so that we don't lose this house now. Let's do uh, review. Five star. Dude, I don't even know how, but I did it. Messages. Messages are A-OK. -okay. Let's go house hunting. Time to go house hunting. All right, so here we go. 482,000. Tree house. Big houses. Here we go. Here we go. Zoning in. I I'm eyeing it down. $170,000. Oral Lake Road 986 slash one. A small single story terrace house with three rooms, zero bedrooms at the moment. Furnishing. There's going to be no furnishing in it. Total floors, one primary market, none, and the year was built in 2009 with a supermarket and bus next to it. All right, let's buy that, baby. There we go. We have officially bought a house in the suburbs. Um, first thing I want to do is name it. So the next person on our list to be named here as a property would be, and one of our, titch, our Twitch subscribers as well, Jessifer. This is her second property, actually. So there you go, Jessifer, you are now there. We still have one more person on the our, on our, uh, I guess, our, our list, right? A list of names that want to be named on properties. Um, so if you are still interested and maybe curious and want to be named after a property, just let me know in the comment section below. I'll add you to the list. We have one more person left on the list. All right, so now that that's that, now that that is that, let's actually just begin cleaning. Uh, will we dive into this uh, apartment? No, no. I, you know, I got to leave it with the cliffhanger, of course, right, baby? Uh, I just got to be like, it, cliffhanger, bam. I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, we'll do this apartment, and that will be that. <laughs> uh, so we're just cleaning it up right now. Oh, my God. Luckily, see, this is a good thing. Well, I guess that's not us. I was going to say, if that was our tenant, like, what if an earthquake happened and we didn't have the money to repair everybody's stuff? That's why I wanted a little bit of a safety net there as we uh, as we got forward there. We still have five days left in our babysitting job, which isn't going to pay a lot, admittedly. Uh, so here we go. Let's have Uncle leave. But, um, yeah, that's going to do it in today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you guys did, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe. Like I said at the beginning of the video, if anything were to happen for tomorrow's videos and upload schedule, or maybe the next days, maybe the day afters, um, if there's a little bit of hiccup in the upload schedule, just be patient with me. Um, I would really appreciate it that, you, you know, you be patient with me. Uh, there is stuff that is going on in my life right now that I have to deal with um, as a citizen. You already know, jury duty. So it, it might take up a lot of time. Just... Be patient with me, and uh, yeah, and again, I, I will mention it one more time. If you are interested in catching our live series and seeing our live series um, done this Saturday, uh, April, good God almighty, what is it, 24th? April 24th at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We usually hang out for a few hours, and, uh, you know, we, honestly, we talk about anything. We just talk about whatever comes to mind. So it's really fun, and we have a lot of good time over there. So, uh, yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one. You take care. This is for all of you, not just a song to listen to, something to give you hope to hang on to. Ah.